Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 61 of the Contest Realm podcast. If you don't know already, we're available on YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify and iTunes podcasts. Make sure to follow, like and all that stuff to the various platforms to know when we are out here. As always, I am joined by Dan, who is the co-host of the show of www.frontlinemcc.home.blog and on Twitter at FrontlineMCOC. All links are in bios for Dan. Dan, welcome to a week of rewards, arena changes, and more. Yes, I think this was the week of change, and uh, not all that change is being well received. So we've got yeah. a lot to go over. Um, I think probably just to jump right into it, Act Seven Point Two uh, rewards are finally out now. The content's not out yet. That'll be um, this coming Wednesday, mm. uh, the nineteenth of May. Um, but uh, the the uh, Act Seven Point Two rewards um, did prompt uh, some quality memes. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't I don't think people were super excited which w with what was described as copy and paste rewards. No, my which favorite... is not which is not totally fair. Uh, but they mm. are very similar. Yeah, my favorite meme was the Scooby Doo one. Where you oh, have yes, seven, yes. I think it's uh, seven point two on, on the person, and it's like wait just a minute, and reveals, and it's like, and it's that like seven point one rewards or something. That was that was my favorite. There's the thing is with these rewards, it's it's yes, okay. So my problem with this is on. I'm glad first of all, thumbs up. We're seeing tier three alpha and tier five, uh, tier six basic fragments being put into yes. the exploration in, in content and not deals that's exactly good. um yep. it's the volumes of which i kind of go and like this feels like it's the the further investment point like this is uh, to get these little bits here of 7.2 is it brings up two things number one is that we're kind of in it for the further preparation of a rank th rank four six star and it's going to take a hell of a long time if that's the minuscule amount that, that one yeah. would receive in 7.2. The second thing is the difficulty that follows with this. Now, I didn't get a chance to do a whole host in 7.2 beta, but it, if this was the rewards that were going to be given, then if the difficulty is more difficult than it was 7.1, I'm talking like, say, if... The difficulty goes up. Say the difficulty from seven point one to seven point two is that it goes up by, I don't know, um, a two out of ten, where mm. before was a one out of ten. Then that's fine, right? I, I'm right. chill. I'm chill with the way this is being presented. But if it then ramps up to the difficulty being, I don't know, a five out of ten, um, then I would go. Hang on a minute. You you can't make those level of kind of like. Uh, rewards with difficulty kind of admissions so i don't know that's that's kind of where i'm at i, I want to see what the difficulty is like or how the, how it is when it's released but i don't know what, what what's your feels around around this yeah um i mean i i agree with you about the the rank four resources they are pretty minuscule on their face i would assume that the total rewards for um act seven um will get you one rank four six star yeah like that's i think i think it's all gonna add up to one uh one rank four six star uh i do like the extra there's an extra 25 percent tier five class catalyst i like that um you know, more signature stones would be nice yeah if, if there was one thing that yeah. i i would have liked a little more of is i mean you could double those signature stone numbers and it's still not crazy See, yeah, exactly at, at all um but i think it like you said it comes down to um the uh the difficulty versus the rewards like as someone who's still got uh so, you know a bunch of act six left to do mm -hmm. um these these rewards are way better than completing um uh, you know a chapter in act six <laughs> and i'm almost certain it's going to be less difficult so i like that yeah. Um, so you know, I guess I guess it depends exactly where you are. I mean, uh, if I look at okay, I could do variant seven or I could do Act six point three. 
a hundred percent or I could do this a hundred percent. Well, this has the best rewards out of the three. So mm -hmm. for me, it's a, it's a better option. Um, but I could see, I can see for the people who are really pushing, um, uh, it's like, okay, this doesn't really move the needle for me. It's a couple more six stars and, and the rank four stuff is still a ways off. Yeah. Uh, I guess it, it just depends on how fast you, um, you want to move. I, I still think, uh, you know, Act Seven Point One rewards were about the best rewards in the game, considering how easy the content was. Yeah, so, that is a good point. I, as you someone, know, that that's how I choose to look at it. Yeah, as someone that's just one hundred percent is six point three, and that was all manners of fun. What I picked up from there, yeah, it doesn't even like yeah, twenty five percent of a tier five class catalyst a rank. A five star rank three to four. I I don't know why a lot. If the current meta shift from some of the content and looking back at six, Act Six, I don't know why Caban may have not looked back at at the way the reward structure has been for, for for the content like twenty thousand five star shards. I don't know if they ever would look to like review the uh, the reward situation for Act Six, um, but certainly just yeah. You, you you kind of you kind of look at the way that it's kind of like put together and go, if it was the same. If Act Seven Point Two was the same difficulty as even Seven, what is it, Seven Point Three, or whatever any more Act Seven is, if it's the same difficulty as Act Six, then you're damn well better sure it should be yeah. rewarded. Because right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, I hear you. I mean, there's dangerous. a bunch of new nodes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, once again, we're gonna have to try them to, yeah. to see what we feel. Uh, but it it seems like they're following the sort of the. Uh, we might take something away, but we'll still help you. Mm. Idea, which which I like, and and I think that's the thing that kind of uh, trips people up with with Act Seven and and maybe the lack of difficulty is Act Seven rewards you if you understand how your roster works. Yeah. Once you've picked, once you've picked the the right team, you mm. unlock the easier fights. If you're just gonna go in and You're like, well, these are my best five champs. They have the highest numbers. Let's see what happens. You're not going to have a good time, and it's not going to be easy. Yeah. But if you read the nodes, you can make the fights easy. Yeah. And that's um, the thing. Like, Kabam is still allowing you to have that. If if you've made a mistake, um, or like I think it was like one time I just I, I was like, oh damn it, I've not really brought anything against the the boss. So they've got that kind of um, swap out um, node. I can't. Remember yeah, swap out for the boss. Swap Love out for that. The boss, yeah. I that's, like the, the idea of the, the boss island. I think that's going to be something that's going to be very helpful because you might go, oh, I, I, di I didn't like this one or I don't like the, the nodes on this. You, you at least got an option. I mean, you, you can choose to fight whatever you want to fight and, and stuff, but I'm, I'm glad yeah. that they've added in that. Yeah, because with, with three bosses, the chances are at least one of them could present a, a bad matchup for your roster if you don't yeah. have... If you don't have the right counter, um, and same as same as last time, six paths, love that. Mm -hmm. Six fights, so no marathon sessions. Um, should make for some relatively uh, quick clears for everybody, yeah. uh, which is nice. And when you consider it's just you know six fights plus a boss, six times for those completion rewards, uh, you know that's not that's not too bad. Yeah. So I like that. I like that one to two rank up gem for six stars and the completion rewards. That's that's probably the the best get there, right? Although I need the million gold. Yeah, that's, I'm so, actually running low on gold, and I, I, I kind of like looking at the, I, I looking at the arena grind and stuff. I need to kind of like yeah. what I'm doing. Uh, oh my god, dude! I went into this level up with sixteen hundred gold. Ugh. Ugh. I was like, what happened? Yeah, I've got, the thing is, I, I'm really loving kind of grinding the solo events again, uh, for some reason. I just started uh, again since, um, as I'm going through Cavalier, how many, I've only got like five, like level one revives, but it's, it's it's surprising when you don't think about what you're doing, you you kind of think, oh, I'll just kind of put a little bit in to level up, or I'll do hero yep. use, or do my uh, arena wins grind today, or my um, questing today, and it's like, it, it adds up, when you don't it even think about it. It does add up. Since the buff, it adds up. It's yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I must admit, like, Kabama doing some kind of, like, good here, here and there. 
Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the things like whenever Kabam do something bad, it's kind of like it becomes front and center. Oh, is, oh yeah, which is the disappointing mm-hmm. side of things because then it uh, does kind of outweigh the kind of the, the some good that they, they do from time to time. They do do good things, but um, oh, I think we better. I think we better talk about the arena situation. The ar- the arena. This was. I mean, this was your classic uh help some hurt some scenario wasn't it yeah uh because i mean we are we are excited about six stars and and more people having the chance to to get the champs and putting the champs in the milestones there's some good there's some good stuff here that's definitely reinvigorated arena certainly for the top yeah um but then you contrast that with the milestone grinders and I think you and I are both more in the milestone grinder Absolutely. category. We rarely go for the champs. Yeah. Um, and I watched your video last night uh, comparing your, your previous strategy of, of the, using your four stars and five stars and how many points you can get mm-hmm. um, and how you're going to have to reconfigure um, your milestone uh, grinding yeah. to keep up your unit gain. And Cam also had a great video comparing like where where the value per round in units is uh so i certainly think um that the the milestone grinding needs to needs to be looked at and uh i'm really interested to see where everyone's at on sunday Mm. after we've actually run the arena because i think the initial reaction is uh, uh there's always a freak out with change right yeah and we have to determine, all right, is it a legitimate freak out or is it a freak out because it's new? And then once we experience it, it's actually fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really interested in seeing people's numbers on Sunday. Agreed. I- I've got to do an update to that video, which I think is because we're recording on Friday. I've got to um, I-, I think it will go out as a second video today, uh, which I have mentioned in my uh, new show for Friday is that my there is something i missed out in the video but it's something that is still it's relevant but it isn't Uh, and that thing is six stars yes i do have a volume of six stars and i have them at a certain rarity but the way that kind of works into why it's not in a video why i missed it and and does it make it have any bearing is regardless if i front up if again with the same time, if I say okay, well I've rotated six stars into two five sixty fives and a six star, and I do that over the space of the time that I normally do for my arena grind when there's not anything like cavalier content on or content that I have to get done, and I right. say add in an extra mill, I would still be at a loss. So uh, in my in my stats in the video, I said that. If I do 5.5 mil under the old scheme, I would get 270 units, 30,000 battle chips uh, for the 5.5 mil I put in. Even if I was to put in an additional 1 mil or even 2 mil, it's still, with 6 stars, because I do have 6 stars, it still would not scratch the surface of where I had my grind previously versus where I am now. So it's just a little kind of like extra if people go like would have kind of come up with a rebuttal of, yeah, but you've got six stars, Rich. Surely you'd have more of a, an advantage. But again, it goes down to time, and it wouldn't scratch more onto having the same as it was before. I thought it was pretty yeah, relevant I mean, just to say that. T- time is everything, and I think a lot of the a lot of the feedback on this forum thread, and we're up to we're up to twenty pages on the forum thread. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like eighteen hours in on this. Um, <laughs> So clearly there's been a reaction. Uh, I, I will say a lot of the um, a lot of the feedback I've seen has been focused on points. And I don't know if that's the best way to get Kabam to the to address the issue. I think you really have to focus on on rounds. Yeah. Because it's about the time investment. And I see a lot of people I think they're making the honest mistake of they're like, oh well, the three star used to be um, you know, Six hundred and forty thousand points, and and now it's been moved. And what is it now? It's like, it's in one of the milestones for the the featured. Mm. Uh, but it's like a couple. Like that, uh, if you're going for uh, Shang Chi, you can get the three star for like, oh yeah, six point two five million. Now that's, I mean, obviously that's a, a lot. Yeah. Uh, but it's you know it's kind of something you're picking up along the way, and you're using six stars versus three stars. So. 
Yeah. You're going to, you know, it's 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 not apples to apples on points. We really have to give our feedback in rounds mm. because that's going to be the true tail of the tape and, and measure the time investment. Uh, you know, it feels like from a design philosophy, this is this is more about uh, making you choose which champ you're going to grind for. Yeah. Versus versus making it so you can grind all the milestones. Yeah. So it's I mean, we've talked about this before, right? With with game design, where a, a decision can be positive for one group of people and negative for another group on people based on how you approach the content. Yeah. And I think that's what you're seeing in the um, in the feedback, because it does make some interesting choices. Like if you are someone who can actually do a six star grind uh, and you don't have Falcon and you don't have Shang- Shang-Chi, you have an interesting choice to make, right? Mm. Because you've got two skill champions that are both, you know, headline champions that can help your roster. Yeah. I I think the, the, the kind of the name of the game might be accessibility. And yeah, particularly for the pre-uncollected players. Exactly, yeah. It is one of these things where you kind of go like, this has all the hallmarks of being correct... But there are limitations, and that's that's the problem I think uh, with with this. Like, I don't want to get into the inner workings of of kind of where the ideas came about from changing the arena. But I mean, for me, I just only learned that this was going to be changed as of yesterday. I didn't see any of the um, elements of, of of milestones until it was like, oh, oh right, okay, this is going to be changed. Oh, yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, right, I'm, I'm not <laughs> too sure about this. But either way, I, I think... Mean, there, there's some stuff I like. Yeah, this I mean, I, I actually do like having less arenas, but uh, you and I were both big fans of the four-star basic arena because it's the best, most mindless unit grind in the game. It is, it is. <laughs> you know, because you, you know you're not going to get deathmatched. Yeah. You don't have to do any... You know, it's like, all right, you... Start at the top of your roster. You throw in, um, you know, your rank five, four stars. Mm-hmm. And you got nothing to worry about. Yeah. And, it's... you know, you pick up the 15 units every couple rounds. It's yeah. great. It's minimum effort for maximum return, which I thought right. was, was great. Uh, and that's, that's yeah. it. I always structured my grind when I wasn't doing anything like... Uh, yeah, if I, if I had stuff to do around the house or kind of like... Uh, usually when... Because in the UK, we now, we're now we still at a point where only one of you can go into a supermarket to shop. So, oh, wow. M, yeah, M would go in to do one supermarket. We, we do two, we go to two supermarkets. One's called uh, Lidl, and it's it's got like um, a lot of like European influences in the way that it's delivered, and it's cost effective, and it's it's a nice it's a nice supermarket. And then there's another there's another main one called Tesco. So they, they try to make a foray into uh, America and failed abysmally. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you've heard of the name. Any case, the, the the point to what I'm I'm making is I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's people listening going like, oh, so Rich goes to shop at Lidl's and Tesco's. I do. <laughs> so when M does the Lidl shop, I will play uh, the arena. I have about uh, twenty to thirty minutes, and I will bash out the four star basic arena, or at least get many times times uh, times threes going with the five uh, the 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 rank rank the five fifties. Uh, I'll do that. Or I'll do um, four star featured. And it's like, I know my time, I know my availability, and I go and get the grind in when I can. The same thing is if I'm doing an arena stream, I know I have an hour and a half to then do the grind. Or the same thing like on a Saturday night when I'm watching a movie. With them, I can then kind of like bash out a load of arena, and I know I'll get X amount in X amount of time. And it's it, we all, we're all out there. I'm sure Danny the same. You know your time and availability of go. Okay, oh yeah. Let's let's bash out this now. I've got time, and uh, and take it take it from there. So it's it's a little bit frustrating to kind of like see this because yes, change is not is can be good and bad, and you have to like reassess stuff. But it's like. I think it's a little bit worse when you're like, okay, getting to these milestones is a total reassess right now. Yeah, I mean, you re- you really have to, uh, you know, reassess your strategy, like you said. And we're talking about, uh, you know, long-time players. Like, we've had the same arena set up for years. Mm. So we're very comfortable with that, you know. And arenas, 
you know, for milestone grinding is the most mild, uh, mindless part of the game, right? Yeah. Like, it's like, okay, I know what I'm trying to do. Like, I know what milestones, um, you know, to hit. I know what sort of grind level feels good and, and gets me to where I want to be. Uh, you know, I, I'm someone that just like to jump in the pool for a bunch of arenas. Like, all right, I want to get the first couple milestones. They're easy. Get the gold. Yeah. Um, you know, setting up an infinite streak in, in a, an arena that involves six stars is, you know, it's not that it's hard, but you got to think about it, right? Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, every once in a while, someone doesn't want to throw specials. Yeah. <laughs> and and you get, uh, you know, you not so much a death match. It's just like, it's always Kingpin. Yeah, it's it Kingpin. Is. He won't he won't throw specials. Oh, even worse now is like, oh you're unstoppable. Oh you're unstoppable again. Yeah. Will you stop being unstoppable? Right, right, exactly. <laughs> it's like right around uh like round eleven or twelve, I feel like I always have to save like uh magic, Psylocke, and Quake and throw them in together and it's like, okay, like at least I've got power control. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm trying to think of like other stuff. The Grandmaster shards are good. Yeah, I've seen some uh, people say that they that oh we need um we need cavalier crystals and I'm like well no, not particularly because the problem is what you what you would do is completely upset the game economy if you if you're churning out the um if if you're churning out them uh, and well yeah. the only other thing I think uh, we can meet people in the middle and say if they wanted cavalier shards in an arena then the volume would have to be an incredibly slim amount. Yeah, especially if you're letting uncollected players have access to them. Because yeah. then it takes away from uh, the push to become Cavalier if you can get the Cavalier shards. Mm. You're, you're getting the reward without the, the title. Um, another thing is interesting is because it, the, the two champion arenas are blocked until you're uncollected, I wonder if that is, is to combat bots. In a way, yeah, because you can't just create a bot account and then have it be sixty days old and have it have access to all these arenas and mm. as it's as it title restricted. Yeah, there's a lot of positives that this this um, new arena system will will tackle. Uh, it, it it's it's one of, it's one of these things where I don't think it's it's of value for some. It's uh, an inconvenience for others and a reassessment for the rest. It's like a bit yeah. of everything, but a lot of people have have been affected in somewhat of a a neg negative way. And I'm not going to like, you know, constantly re re repeat myself, but the, the way that they could look into improve it, I, I'm, I've got like um, a a poll open at the moment from like people's thoughts on the matter. Like some... Uh, the options are increase units in arena crystals. That's stupid. Um, no, not ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's not stupid. It's just a case of yeah. like it. It's still RNG. If you increase yeah. units in arena crystals, then it, it, what that refers to is like, do you mean RNG or kind of like the yeah. drop rate? Which I think the the new Thronebreaker crystal is a fifteen percent unit drop. So would they have to kind of like you know increase that? Um, uh, decrease refresh time requ request for champions in arena. No, because that'll upset the balance of units. Uh, not units. Uh, points for yeah. the top, top. And that top just end. forces you to grind more. Yeah. Um. Well, that that that'll be saying like two hundred million cut off for a champions. No. Uh, right. Up, yeah. Tune up grandmaster crystals. No, that's not. That's not. It. Um. All of the above, and a lot of people cannot come up with their own suggestions. Um. Someone saying uh, get the old format back with the six stars, and it's like, well, the the problem is, we, we for, if you've got so many arenas, it is probably going to cause a lot of problems on Kabam's end, which then causes more f further problems our end. Yeah, I th I think that's why there's fewer arenas, right? Like mm. they're trying to streamline the game a bit, uh, and we haven't really talked about it yet, but. I'll Actually, for for me, I found the update fairly stable, but I know a lot of people are having problems. Yeah, uh, this update. And that's that's so. the thing. Like, if you have like a million arenas, and like, what what we're gonna we're gonna mm. be adding in on Monday another arena because we've got the vote uh, arena coming in. That's right, we've got the vote arena. So we'll have Gillotine the... versus Ant Man. Yeah, we, we, we got. And we Good got luck, the... Gilly. Yeah, we love you. I, I think a lot of people are going Ant Man, but it'd be nice to see if there was yeah. a, it was a dramatic change. 
Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I would be quite biased to say that I've got a six-star guillotine, and I'd be like, eh, you know. Actually, do I have a six-star guillotine? I'm pretty certain I do. I do. Uh, all right, Dan. Guillotine's great. Yeah, I've got it. Actually, I've got it. That's that's good. I don't have to awaken though. Um, somebody said, and I, I, I don't think this is ridiculously bad. Have the points required to reach milestones. I mean, reduce the points to reach milestones. That's not too bad. That's at least somebody some bit of sense here. Uh, less rounds to get all milestones. No need to reduce the amount of work needed to get the milestones. So, yeah, okay. There, there are some good suggestions out there. And I think that's probably it. Reducing the amount to get to the milestones. That yep. kind of matter. I don't know. Where, where would you think improvements need to lie? You know, I really want to see... I really want to see the data. Yeah. Um, because what I'm wondering is... I think a lot of people get f very focused on the the previous setups. Like, okay, I would use my four stars in the four star basic. I would use my five stars in the um, in the four star featured. I would use my six stars in the um, in the five star feature. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, one one lev one section of my roster goes through this arena, and that's how you would cycle through the milestones. Like, if if it's possible to hit the milestones in say the the current basic arena after you know a day and a half and then you can switch over and you can hit all the other milestones in a day and a half like you come out at the same place mm -hmm. uh, but i i just want to see if people can do that or are trying to do that or not and like how many rounds it um how many rounds it takes uh, so that's that's the main thing is i just i just want to see what people uh do with it and i think the other thing is uh, thinking about the newer players that can't grind for champions anymore, yeah, uh, just because the the arenas don't exist. I I think that probably needs to be addressed. Yeah, they need some version of a basic and a featured arena that that allows them to get a, up to a four star champion. Like I think you want those players invested in arena, and, yeah. and you know. It, it's, it would give them another thing. It's like, okay, like we know what this is going to be, but I can only get up to a four star, but I get an uncollected. I could theoretically compete for a higher star um, champion. Cause I mean, they have nothing. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's not in the summoner uh, trials is that's just like the two star arena before. And that's supposed to be like a set it and forget it arena that Kabam doesn't touch. That's why there's no champion in it because yeah. it's supposed to be like, this auto reset thing in perpetuity that you know they never have to tinker with. Mm. Will you be doing the summoner trial uh, arena? Oh yes. Yeah. No, I oh yeah. No, that that one I'm gonna. That's that's my new four star basic. Yeah, that's the same, and, same with and, me. And and Cam, uh, you know, once again to reference Cam and his spreadsheet, uh, you know, he's he's saying that the first you know half dozen milestones are your best unit uh, grind per round. Mm. Uh, of any of the arenas. So if you're going to just do, like, say, you know, uh, six or eight rounds of arena, you probably want to do it in the Summer of Trials because you're going to get the units quicker. Mm. And you don't have to worry about any sort of infinite streak or, you know, anything like that. Uh, I think one more thing to touch on is uh, death matches and, and infinite streak. Uh, I don't believe anything's changed mm. uh, because that's really based on champion rarity. Yeah. So, um, like, when we see the first uh, rank four six stars, that will change the infinite streak yeah. and, and deathmatch cutoff. Uh, but that's really what does it. So it's it's really just the five-star featured setup. So if you follow that, you should be okay. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's, that's good. I think we'll wait until uh, Sunday for the data. I'm going to be, I'm hoping to do another a second video for Friday just talking about the arena. Maybe something to touch on a few things from like uh, players' concerns and also how I'm planning to uh, adapt to situations because that's the thing. And I will have to try and think about a way how to reference people uh, with, with, with lower rosters than myself. Uh, I've made yeah. a good point, uh, and, and, and you have as well, to uh, either have prior to a lot of... Because um, we're, I'd, I'd say we're veteran players, to have a stimulated... I like using that word, stimulated. Uh, 
four star <laughs> at 550 roster, which means that doing things like the um, summoner trial takes less time based on um, point um, acquisition. So, you know, for for example, 11 uh, on average with you uh, at times three non boosted. Uh, with 550s, you're looking at 11k uh, a champion in there, and if you have a, a, a roster of like you know, uh, 10, 20, 30, you know, it, it just stacks, it stacks with, with that, and that's that's great. But other people don't have that luxury, or maybe because yeah. because we, again, it's something we've we've talked about volume of when you're new to the game. If you have, if you're not, if you're one year deep into the game, but you're like, hey, I'm uncollected, I'm Cavalier, and that's great, by the way, well done. How many four stars at five fifty do you have? Because that's another. Yeah, thing. I mean, you're just not, you're just not doing that like we used to back in the day. Yeah, we've got, we've got this legacy four star roster that mm-hmm. makes, um, that makes that arena so much easier for us because those yeah. champs are just sitting there. Like we we paid for them a long time ago. I'm yeah. just I'm looking right now. I I just want to see how many um, max rank uh you know max rank four stars I have. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42. Yeah, I have 42. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have so like like I could I could do that arena all day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine by one, two, three, four, five. So that's forty. So yeah, forty. Forty-five. Yeah. Yeah, forty-five. 45. Yep. My math. Sorry. Okay. Um, forty-five. Yeah, it, and and that's the thing. Like, I I very rarely have done any of these, and a lot of these are just from like, just the OG days. Yeah. Everything's just been invested into five stars. Like I think, um, like alpha. I I think I wed I, I wed, waste tier one alpha if I decide to put it into. Um, you know, uh, like four stars now. I'm like, oh, I should really put that in five stars. I've got no value to do it in anything that's kind of lower yeah. than a five star. I mean, this, these arena changes are definitely making me think about maybe R twoing some six stars a little faster than that I was planning on. Same here. Uh, just to get just to get the the arena points because now that I can use I, now that I know I'm going to be using six stars more in arena. So side uh, side quests so uh, side side quest solo objective issues. So we were going to talk about um, the the Shang Chi uh, solo objectives. Yes, um, cool. you're gonna have to re. Uh, what's what has exactly gone wrong or gone right? Uh, I think uh, what's going on with the the objectives is. Uh, People seem very confused, I know, when, when week two went live. I don't know about you, but I, I thought this was a very simple side quest, and then people um, started asking all these questions, like, where are the rings, where are the rings? And then <laughs> started looking at these solo objectives where it's like, okay, you need to end uh, you know, with a skill champion, win five fights against the cosmic, use a light ender, and then you have to do five with a medium ender after that, then five with a heavy um, and is, they're not hard to do. I think people are feeling a little bit of mental burnout trying to keep track of where they are. Ah. Like, oh, it's a cosmic, so I need to end with a heavy, but I'm only up to mediums on science. And, like, it, it, I think Katie Candy uh, had a tweet about it, and, and definitely some other people have, have messaged me individually be like, you know, this is um, it's just a lot to keep track of. That's what people are, are feeling. Yeah, like, I, I don't know if these are meant to be just like completed naturally over the course of the month, but I think that people that are intentionally targeting them uh, to get them done quickly are feeling really stressed. Yeah, I think the the, the process that I found was that one of the, the best ways to do it is to find, instead of doing Road to Labrov, which is is great, there's nothing wrong with it, uh, yeah. but my process was to go to low energy, uh, straight into quests, find a particular class of champion and then uh, repeat it and repeat that particular fight and then just target as opposed to target one specific class as opposed to uh, doing it in one stretch or kind of like figuring out just like just block uh, some time out to to do it uh, which is like what I did I decided to to do that I've done on my objectives right now um, because I wanted to kind of Target, I felt that when I was I, I did start off doing Road to Labyrinth and I just thought this isn't effective 
I, yep. I can't keep track of this. There, there's, there's more skill champions on that route, or there's there's the one specific class. There's more of, and the other ones. I think there's only one mystic in in Road to Labyrinth uh, quest one. I was just like, nah, I can't, I can't do this. This has to be targeted in one specific class of time, just to keep my kind of mind focused on what I was doing. So. I've done mine. I've bashed out with that method. I think yeah, I'm... I mean, I think I'm just gonna see where I'm at uh, going into the final week. <laughs> yeah, and then just just get done what I have to get done because the quest itself is really simple. It's like mm. okay, like all right, one path is locked. Go get the key. Do the one path. All right, that's not that's not that onerous for me once I once I have the ring. Uh, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. I think the other part of it was just. Uh, like we were told, like what the final objective was to get the key. Yeah. But we didn't know there was four before that, <laughs> so it looked really, really easy. And they were like, "Oh wait, we, there's like four steps before you get to that final one." <laughs> so, um, that that didn't feel so good. Yeah, that's 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 the other element to it. Uh, I haven't found a use for any of my revives and health potions yet. So. Uh, me neither. I think you're gonna want to save them for the uh. The final chapter when you have to take in four stars for the cavalier objective that's really good that's that's helpful i understand that a lot of players uh, and i do agree it would be nice for them to be used elsewhere but yeah, especially with 7.2 coming out and absolutely. all these um and it i you've seen probably everyone doing karina's challenge this week yeah and i think that then with with this, there's some good for say new new cavalier players that may be looking at this and going, oh this might be this is pretty difficult. If if these revives and health potions are used by you listening uh, or kind of like someone you know that's just recently cavalier and stuff, this is going to be great and allows you to make those advancements to grab stuff from a solo event. If say before you're like oh legendary is a bit hard for me, well. At least to say you have something now to get you through that content that doesn't eat into your own level one revive stash or your right um, or your units in any kind of way. So there's some kind of like thumbs up in amongst a very kind of like ooh kind of situation with why this isn't available elsewhere. So yeah, good luck everybody trying to get uh, yeah. your your rings and and stuff. If you're watching, yeah, I mean, YouTube, other than um, other than the objectives, it's a pretty cool side quest it's very simple <laughs> yeah it's not difficult and it's it's got some good rewards if you're watching this on um, youtube i'm not flexing all my rings at you at the moment mm. there's a good chance i am but i'm, I'm, I'm sorry if that it's not that's not the case it's just just a case of like i thought for the relevancy of like talking about this i'll just show all the rings in their uh in their entirety <laughs> no it's not that rich okay we better right. move on and talk about marvel realm of champions yeah, have you had had time to uh, dive into uh, Realm this week with everything that's going on? I'm only logging in at the moment. This is a very sad state of affairs. It's it's very weird, um, but uh, it's just timing. I've I've just I think one of the big things is is just coming off the back of hundred percenting cat hundred percenting. Uh, what am I hundred percenting? Hundred percented, uncollected, and I'm probably going to hundred percent cavalier by the point this video comes out. It's it just it's just timing. Timing is yeah. annoying. well. That's actually quite good. Actually, was I just thought, oh Dan, for the purpose of this video, I just log on. I have just picked myself up a uh, epic piece of gear. I've picked. There myself, you go. Yeah, What'd you get? a uh, a dwarven storm guard synergy Victor Curious, whatever that is. is um, that's for Thor. That's for Thor. So hey, nice. I just picked myself up a epic Thor. A uh, piece of um, of chess, yeah. chess piece. So okay, that's you, you know I I I would say I've been playing a fair amount of, amount of realm in mm. the the past week with with three point oh and it's a it's a really good update. Yeah, uh, I'm really liking the pinnacle quest. I don't know if you have have gotten into these, but this is the this is the solo mode, um, and it's kind of like a gauntlet. Like every level that you uh you fight through it gets harder yeah uh, really good rewards if you need to build up your champion's weapons uh and, and gear like you're getting a lot of the the um components yeah 
So I've been able to make some big gains with uh, the power level of my Sorcerer Supreme, and, and now I'm working on Storm. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great because, you know, it's all you. you. You don't have to worry about matchmaking and losing and, and your battle rating. Uh, it's a great place to go if you, you say, okay, I think I've pushed my battle rating as far as I can go uh, with this strength level champion. I can run these pinnacle quests. I can get a bunch of components and in a very short amount of time. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, make some significant power gains uh, with my champion's gear. Uh, so I'm really enjoying it. A lot of replayability uh, with that. And like I said, takes out the stress of matchmaking and, mm. <laughs> and, and bad matches. Although I will say I'm getting better matches right now. That I don't know good. if that's because of a tweaked algorithm or more people playing. Um, but I, I'm definitely feeling better about uh, jumping into Arena as well. So yeah. um, The other big part of this, and, and again, I, I know you haven't had much time to jump into this, but is the, the Welcome to Battle World story. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got like the different chapters, and you kind of unlock units and story modes and and an in extra inventory expansions through it and it, it it sort of incorporates the story of what's going on in the game with the actual playing of the game yeah which i, I thought had been lacking uh before uh it's a little bit weird as an experienced player because you've already either got some of this stuff uh mm -hmm. before or, or you know some of it but for new players it's absolutely fantastic yeah this is something Which that is important. I'm glad Caban put in because it just gives you, it gives you um, a process of something to do. Because like, if you're going to go like, oh, what do I do? That's just basically yeah. thing of going like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. It, it, now it, you know what to do. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, I do, I do feel for the the community really because this should have been one of these processes of going, okay, well. I'm not, I think this is the last time we're going to say this, but if this was in, in December 2020, I think it would have at least piqued players' interest first to go, okay, so I'm this is what I'm doing. I'm going to work towards level four. I'm then going to do pinnacle quests and also just try and get the good stuff from this leveling up type thing. The same way that MCOC has got it, they've got their own process that, you know, as soon as you level up, you get mastery points. You use those mastery points to improve your masteries, which then in turn improve your champions in a way that they fight in different types of areas. Not to say that this would be... It, it's, this is kind of like in in games like... Uh, a lot of games, that are, different games that I play, uh, like season passes, yep. in that you kind of... Um, like once a season, you, you, you kind of go in for 30 days and you do X levels based on X wins or something and you get X stuff back, or Y stuff back. This is different because it just, it piques your interest on a daily basis on various different days to go and do leveling up. It does make me want to go back and, and play. I, just the biggest problem with MCOC at the moment is is trying to keep up to date with content and make my own yeah. videos as well. Like I, I, I will come back to do stuff for Rich's Realm. I may even do stuff on Sunday, but um, I might be doing this Sunday what I was hoping to do the previous Sunday. <laughs> Life's funny, isn't I, it? Dan? I feel you on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean I totally agree. If this was, if if version three had been version one, yeah, uh, we'd be having a very different conversation uh, about this game. And I, I, you know that that's what bothers me the most about mm. it is just that like this addresses so many problems but a bunch of people wrote off the game day one yeah you know it didn't it didn't feel like it was ready i mean it'd be like if mcoc had come out without like you know if you didn't have act one like what's the story what what are we supposed to do where where are we going with this yeah. um like now there's actually a focus to like player progression and players need that roadmap where before it was just like, okay, let's do a bunch of arena and my battle rating goes up or down. Mm. So this is, just, this is just a lot better. Yeah, thankfully. Uh, I'm just trying to look now. And it's still, I'm still at a point of seeing friends that have kind of like not logged in. Uh, you know, one friend, 29 days not logged in, 13 days. And I just cleansed. I think about uh, a good chunk of time ago, I, I cleansed my list of people that are active in the game or not. And that's what I've been trying to do is kind of go like is 
remove certain people off the list so I can get a, a, a kind of a test as to who's active in the game and who's not. Um, thankfully, I yeah. do see a few people that I've I, I kind of I, I've chilled with in the past. There's a substantial player who was in um, a previous alliance called Slayer S L A Y A. Um, he hasn't logged in in six days, so I don't know if that's um, that's a bad sign. Um, yeah, just it's just one of these things to see like friends. Like one friend hasn't logged in in forty five days. I think that was the last time I cleansed this list, but. Um, I like doing it in order to find out, like you know, where the game is at. I see less people inactive than I did in the past, and I really hope this this kind of change in design or kind of like this improvement is something that will kind of this is the like, maybe this is the phoenix moment that kind of rises from the ashes, uh, Marvel mm. realm. The good thing about this is I'm also getting new friend requests. Like I'll log in and find out that there's there's people that have um, sent me friend requests, which is nice, uh, and I'm like, okay, well you're new active players, so this is again good good news to accept them and go, okay, well let's see where you are. Are you going to be playing um, more? And I, I'm, I, you know, I, I really hope for more with the game as the the stompers are, as I used to refer to them, those that with the better gear, the better synergies and whatever, go up to the Avenger tier. Yeah. Which is great, by the way. That needs to happen. Hopefully, less of those players are stomping down uh, people like myself that want to then come back to the game and kind of push yep. to 1,250 and kind of go up into there, but not finding those fights so much. That's the biggest thing for me is matchmaking. So I'm hoping, gonna, I'm hoping to make some content at the weekend and see uh, where we're at and nice. hoping for the best. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good point to end, Dan. I think, I think so. I think we, I think we've covered everything. Um, what? So, what else are you up to for the next week? <sighs> I want to make some more MCOC content before Act Seven Point Two drops, and I think, I actually, I know I'm going to be writing ideas because I'm, I'm at a point. Where I'm not lost at ideas. I'm trying to balance in when I do stuff like. Um, unit grind guides i want to go back and do a lot of lot of stuff that i had before i've got a couple of videos coming out about how to make the jump from one type of difficulty of content to the other i've got uncollected to cavalier and i'm thinking of doing a master to uncollected one and oh I nice i think that'll one. help a lot of people yeah i think the uncollected to cavalier will be good i think the uh, and that will help out a lot more but i wanted to do another one as well and i need to just kind of facilitate what i'm doing Monday, Tuesday time before um, preparing with more arena grinding for what's going to drop on Wednesday with Act Seven Point Two. What are you going to be up to, Dan? Um, I'm working on an account progression update nice. uh, every three months. I do one of these, so uh, that's what I'm working on. And and other than that, I'm just I'm so busy with work mm. um, right now that just keeping it to the normal calendar updates. Let everyone know what's what's going on uh, every day, every week, uh, and just I got to focus on Cavalier. Uh, mm. difficulty and and making sure that I get the uh, monthly content done because yeah. I'm not going to have time to just you know smash out some variant jump into 7.2 uh, in the next couple weeks and if I do I'm I'm going to risk not completing Cavalier so for sure uh, I got to do sure. I got to do the stuff that's going to expire first yeah no I agree I'm I'm at the same point got to get Cavalier done uh, and and stuff before 7.2 drops and that's my next month until we get the new endgame content and I've got to get back to doing Act 6 uh, 100%ing. So is life. So is life. Right, thank you everybody for coming by and listening to the Contest Round podcast. Links are in the description for Dan and myself and we'll see you next time in episode 62. Bye-bye.